how do you create a public speech on the spot that kind of has a zing? Um, that's a question that uh, I've been asked several times this week. I'm, I'm on Bali right now. I just finished an NLP training here. And I was actually uh, hired by several of my students here to actually work on different keynote speeches that are very important. One of them, one of my clients is sandwiched in between Brene Brown and Dr. St. Clair. <laughs> so that's a tough act uh, to follow, to be sandwiched in between. Anyway, how do you, um, how do you make up a speech on the spot? Um, the the most important thing is is that in, in if you actually have time to prepare a speech is that you open with some kind of a quote a story uh something you read this morning uh, something that recently happened um, a statistic a piece of scientific evidence now that may be hard to come up with on the spot but if you can do it the first thing that I have to do when someone asks me to do a public speech on the spot, and I usually have at least 10, 15 seconds of warning, five seconds of warning, at, at the minimum that's there. And so when I, the moment that I know that I have to create a public speech, I actually stop paying attention to consciously to what's going on outside of me so the world must go away for a split second and i can still look around and go inside so that's not a problem but i go inside and i check with my gut i check with my intuition my unconscious mind which is not a logical thought which is not an analysis which is not a thought process where, where all those things need to happen. I need to calculate and logic. It's literally, I'm doing an intuition check. What is my feeling saying? And so I ask it a question, right? I ask it the question, I need to do a speech about this person. What is my gut telling me? Or I need to hold the speech about this context. What is my gut telling me and so the gut tend to tend to not speak in words at first it tends to speak in a sense an internal knowing uh in an image sometimes for me or a movie for some people that they even get a symbol back there is a a feeling i get back so whatever that is for you and you can even do this right now by closing your eyes and what is my intuition saying when I insert the name of person X, right? So just go mom and then you go inside and, and, and notice what your intuition is saying. And you need to do that in that moment when you need to do the speech. When I think of this person, when I feel this person, then what does your gut say? And when you get that internal sense back, that flag, that feeling, then you can turn it into a word for yourself. And that word is always like a, a, a positive value. In NLP, we call that a positive intent. And so I get a feeling back like power or like uh, balance or peacefulness or love or acceptance or whatever. And so when I hear that word I, and I know the context, I add the context or the person plus the word and I start to build whatever I'm saying around this. And so I can literally do it sometimes. I would like, you know what, when I think of you, this person X, um, the first word that jumps into my mind is, is the word power. And so now I'm thinking about what's power mean to me? And so I have an anecdote or, you know, whatever. And so I build it around those things. And it's not, a, I, I consider them an anchor, not an NLP anchor, but they, I consider that something that I can hold on to, that I can grasp to build the whole speech around in that moment, that allows me to properly organize myself, that allows me to actually breathe, because I, I like to breathe when I'm speaking, especially when I'm public speaking, and to just kind of have something that is that red thread, that thing to center around myself on. 
And actually, by, by, by saying those word, that word over and over in my mind, because it's a positive word, it actually feels good to me. So that's how you can make your, your, your public speech or your, your keynote that you have to make up on the spot or whatever you need to do on the spot, how you can make that super strong. If you're interested in training with me on Bali and to actually write better speeches or keynotes uh, without having to make them up on the spot, many more things, um, then you can come to visit me on Bali or Mexico, the Riviera Maya. Uh, train in LA several times a year, uh, Venice Beach, and in Amsterdam. So join us there, and um, I'll see you around. Bye.